full disclaimer before we start, I've already seen a few of these pieces. I know the line a little bit just because of H3H3 and Hela Klein. I kind of understand where this is coming from. So I'm not going into this one completely blind like I do my other ones, but I haven't seen everything. Um, I've only seen a few pieces and I'm, I thought it'd be fun to review Teddy Fresh. I don't know. It's, uh, it's something that is interesting in a way the way that it has been marketed and it has been honestly sellable it, it's a very interesting clothing line i'm being very nice right now but uh remember guys this is in no way a direct uh attack at h3 h3 or or he look line even if there is anything negative to say it's purely on the design of the clothing it has nothing bad to say about the people i know that there's a lot of internet swimming at them right now but that's I, this this is gone from that okay this is separate this is a review of their design choices and their merch lines and stuff like that all right let's hop into this this is my official review of the teddy fresh merch line okay so i have to give credit here Honestly, like the fact that they were able to spawn get sponsors with SpongeBob SquarePants and collaborate with them. Um, I do know that they even sell this at uh, a store in the States called Zoomies. I know that they sold the Teddy Fresh line for quite a while. I have to give credit here. Like that's awesome. Like way to go to get to that point. That is that is top tier marketing. However, we're going on design here. So let's dive in here. Ha, SpongeBob dive in. Funny. We're going to go piece by piece. This one is going to be a much longer review. I need to very much deconstruct the things that I've seen. So let's go to shop all actually, and we'll just start at the top. So this is the, the big ass. Okay. I'm whatever. It's fine. Okay. First impressions. It's fine. I mean, if this is the merch for, for this company, it makes sense, right? Teddy fresh. Like I actually don't mind this one. This one doesn't bug me as much. These colors are awful, but I mean, this one, not, not bad at all. I think it's cool. Is that in, is that like fuzzy? Oh, that's cool. It's fuzzy. Okay. All right. Not a bad piece. Never been a fan of their logo, mostly because I think maybe I take art a little too seriously. <laughs> that might be the problem. So not bad. Not a bad piece. Not a bad piece. This piece gets a, I mean, I, there's nothing more to say about it. Um, I don't, I mean, I can read it a little bit, but there's not much to say. It just looks, it just looks kind of whatever. All right. Like it, it's a good piece. It's not, I'm sure it's very comfortable. Ooh, $85. Oh, jeez, man. What is that, lime with gold? God, $85. All right, all right, all right. I want to believe that this is really, really, really well made. Let's read it. No, it's 100% cotton, 300. Oh, okay, 300 GSM. Uh, that's fine. This is it's just still $85. Do you know what you could buy for $85? A lot. <laughs> A lot more than one hoodie. I'm not here to tell you to spend your money. If you like H3H3 and you like Hila Klein and Ethan Klein, absolutely buy this if, if you have the money to, to throw at it. But that is some balls on that price. $85. I've reviewed things that are $65 and I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe worth it. $85 for a sweatshirt. You know how much this probably cost them to make? This probably cost them $10, $11 to make. They're making massive profit, but then you also got to factor in marketing and different things. But I mean, just for the piece, oh God. I kind of want to know where they're getting it made. I'm pretty sure I'll never find that out, but I'm just saying, I would be, it would be interesting to find that out. That price, I was going to give this actually, you know, like a, like a five, like an average, but uh, no, you get, you get a three. That's, that price is awful $85 for that jeez man Ugh. all right let's let's move on all right next one here is it's a beautiful hoodie $79 all right all right all right I understand this is going to be an expensive line now I didn't even look at prices before I understand that she's trying to be designer and uh because I know Gila is the one that creates this stuff I understand she's trying to be a designer and uh, designer prices are expensive right like that's just how it goes but wow oh they have pink and they have black okay well I do I always give credit when there's uh when there's different colors I like that because it gives people options and I think more options at least in the sense of color of your back of your shirt is is better than none okay so it's just a front print it's embroidered 
obviously. Let's analyze the design a little bit here. This is the simplest design I think I've ever seen. They literally took their logo, they added in some colors, and then they they just said, hey, all those colors, let's just repeat them across a, you know, a serif font and then extend it out and say Teddy Fresh. So simplistic might be good in this case i think it's awful i think it's it's lazy the reason i'm saying that is because when you see the when you see the t the teddy fresh maybe this is just kind of how they sell their brand i guess being minimal being you know high quality and you know because this one's 380 gsm and that's good that's that's good quality that's not that's not terrible but i'm just looking at it and i just i i'm not impressed it's i hate the mix of colors I understand it's part of their like kid friendly theme sort of stuff going on, I guess. And like trying to be like old school dad sort of look, I, I get it, but it, it's, it's ugly. It just, it's straight up just ugly. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice and find some credit here. Let's look, let's look. The, the font itself isn't terrible actually. I think it, I think it fits well with the shirt. Um, I don't like that this is extended though. Like I'm trying to find good things, but every time I find something good, there's something worse. So the Teddy, is too extended and the fresh is you know pushed together that's fine that can work i just think with the color mash here it just doesn't i mean if they were the same color it would definitely work like if they were all that blue or all that pink or all that gold it would work really well but i i don't like it the logo itself is just oh it's atrocious oh it's atrocious i know they're trying cool things with embroidery okay but that's atrocious like oh ugh, okay now on the white, it's not so bad, honestly. Like you could wear this, this would be fine. And, and I think people, you know, people would be fine with it. But I mean, oh, okay. And then the pink is worse and the black. Okay, black's actually the best of the three. Black is actually best of the three. It's not, it's not too bad. See, you could wear this. I could wear the black. I feel like the white, it's just the, are the colors different? Oh, they are. Okay, that's probably why. Yeah, I hate this. I hate this one and this one's just worse and this one is is the best of the three but that's not saying much yeah this one gets a two wow quality wise i'm guaranteeing they definitely are doing well okay i i know that but that doesn't mean anything about the design and the cost of the hoodie okay so the next one is i flunked out of college and all i have is this sweatshirt i'm so sick of that joke let's go in Okay, all right. This is more of a like college or high school sort of logo like they wanted to go for. That's kind of cool. You can do that. That's interesting. I think that's a, a new design style. In all honesty, this piece, I like the stitching. I like that they did this off style stitching, like somebody like sewed a bunch of pieces together. That actually makes it really interesting to wear too. So this is a really cool look to it. Colors are awful. Um, I think they could have done better with those. But then again, maybe not. Maybe this is this is the brand, you know, this is the, the awful color sort of offset sort of thing. Um, this is cool. I actually like this. I like the stitching a lot. That's very unique. We don't see that a lot. In our last review with Cloak Brand, we saw a lot of unique design styles and stuff with the clothes itself. So like they had the cloak and everything, but this is, this is kind of cool that they're able to do, they have the funding to do this stitching and to actually have the pieces made there. I don't feel like they're printing on blank. So props there. Okay. They have a red one. Okay. Oh man. Oh, I can't look at that. Sorry. Cardinal sin is maroon and yellow. This one's the best. I like this. I would wear this actually. Maybe, maybe not because you know, I, <laughs> I don't wear YouTuber merch, but, uh, this one's not, this one's not bad. This one's honestly pretty good. This one's okay. Uh, this one is, this one's good too. I like those two. This is awful. This should never even be sold. Those frayed seams with flat lock top stitch. Is that what this, this is called? I don't know, maybe. Okay, yeah, I know it's all embroidered. I didn't need to be told that. That's cool. That's really nice. See, like it's good quality stuff. It's good quality stuff. I wanna see how it fits this dude. All right, it does, hey, it doesn't fit bad. I kinda like the stitching, it's interesting. Like I said, this is cool, it's a cool piece. It's cool because of how different it is. So this is, this is an example of design taking a new step and a risk. And I don't think they're the first ones to do this, obviously, but taking the risk with this piece is really cool and I like it. I'm glad they did that. And it doesn't look half bad for streetwear or something like that. I would, this could be considered, you know, part of it. Oh, but then we come to the biggest problem that I'm having right now with Teddy Fresh. I ain't paying $80 for a sweatshirt. I ain't doing that. Like I can get a sweatshirt that's designed way better, probably same quality for about 30 bucks. I mean, th this is, this is not, 
this is not worth $80. I think it's a, I think honestly, it's a, it's a good designer piece even. So $50 you could pay, but $80 is a ridiculous price. That is a ridiculous price for this piece. Um, I understand the hand stitching and the different kind of stuff is, is, uh, is unique and you need to find the supplier for that. But this is, this is ridiculous. Um, the, the price, not the piece the piece. I actually like, um, on design alone, I would honestly give this like a, like a seven. Like I actually really like this. I like the kind of theme they're going for. It's not bad at all. And it, you know, it actually appeals to me in that way you know, like a college sweatshirt or something like it's, I, I like it, but I have to give it a six because of that price. I, I mean, that is ridiculous. $80, $80 for this sweatshirt. Also the joke pissed me off. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, this gets a seven. Absolutely. They have some shorts. I flunked out of college. Oh, okay. Well, minus one point already. I like this. Honestly, these are cool. These are cool. These are these are cool because they're shorts and they actually match that same stitching we saw before. It makes sense, you know, it's probably part of their uh, like an like a little drop or whatever. It's 100% cotton. I don't like shorts that are cotton, but this isn't bad. This isn't bad. This is a this is just a solid piece. I love the patch. I love when they do a patch. Oh, I love when they do a patch. This is this is tailored is it tailored by Teddy Fresh. And now, okay, I'm not gonna try and read that. I mean, this isn't bad. Let's see how it fits. Uh, oh, cool. They do the they do their logo on the back as an embroidery. That's cool. Man, what is this guy wearing? But still, okay. Shorts are cool. Shorts are fine. I like them. I think I think they're they're interesting. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars for a pair of shorts. These shorts that I'm wearing here, I can't really show them. These shorts I'm wearing here. You see them? You see those shorts? I got these for ten bucks. And they're probably more comfortable than these. Okay. I understand you want to support a creator. You want to do that. I, I There's kind of a premium that comes with that. God, man, $60. All right. Uh, same as the last one, six. Like you, you guys, you guys keep getting good design and then it just boom. The price just has to knock it down there. I'm starting to take things more into account uh, with my reviews before it was kind of just design and everything. And that's fine. And I'm definitely going to review the design of a lot of these pieces. There's just not a lot of design going on here, but, uh, but yeah, it, now I'm starting to really take into account how much you're paying. Okay. Vintage stripes t-shirt, the theme, I get it. All right. The theme makes sense. The theme being that, you know, it's an old man shirt or a 90s shirt or something like that. Like they're trying to bring back, uh, that era. That's totally cool. I totally get it. Would I ever be caught dead in this? Absolutely not. This is one of the worst looking shirts I think I've ever seen in my life. Let's look at the other colors. Actually, this one's not bad. This one's not awful. Okay. All right. This one's not awful. I'd actually like the colors on that one. Oh, the sage kind of works too. The sage kind of works. Okay. All right. It's dusty blue, aqua, and sage. Uh, the sage is, it looks fine on the, on the model. I guess maybe when I'm seeing it flat, I just hate it. But this isn't bad, but I want to see it on. I want to see the aqua on someone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh God. No, no way. No way. Yeah. Okay. The sage actually works. I think with, uh, with these guys, cause you can, the thing is, is you can actually work with the sage, but I just, this is just so bad. It's so bad. This isn't even a design. Like, honestly, it's just, it's just lines. I understand. Yeah. Your lines work really well together, but this is just so bad. Oh my God. The dusty blue isn't too bad. Either. Let me see it on a model. Yeah. It's not too bad. Okay. All right. I, I can't believe my initial impression is this one. This is one of the worst shirts I've ever seen in my life. It hurts my eyes to look at this. Like I, I just don't like it. And then the Teddy fresh logo is, is that supposed to be cute or something? Like it, it's, it just, ugh. I want to give you guys props in certain areas, but it's so hard when you present something like this. Oh my God. Um, if you want me to analyze the design here, uh, there's nothing to analyze. It's lines of bad color design. And then on top of that, you know, I didn't like their Teddy Fresh logo in the first place. So it doesn't help me. Yeah, this gets a, this gets a, a three. I, the reason I'm giving it even higher than a one, which is what I want to give it is because these two work. These definitely work. All right. So this gets a three, this piece in general gets a three. Oh, I also didn't mention it was $40. Just miss me with that shit, man. God. Okay. So monochrome patchwork t-shirt. <sighs> Okay. I want to see it on a model before I say anything. All right. I want to see it on a model because I'm starting to realize that when I see it kind of fitting somebody, sometimes it works better. I'm, I'm starting to notice that. No, 
No. Okay. All right. I like the blue and the yellow and the, this little this little tan is not bad. Sand is what they call it. Okay. Let me explain why this doesn't work. There's no symmetry to it, which I understand is like popular now. It really is within uh, the skating community and um, and stuff like that, like symmetry and being off and all that kind of stuff. Really, you know, is the thing to be in right now. However, symmetry to your eyes this is you know biological is actually more beautiful this is why people who have symmetrical faces are considered more attractive and this works within design as well so you know if i have a symmetrical piece like you know it, it really works here it just i mean i understand what they're going for i want to give props here okay i understand what they're going for they're going for the off a little bit i i mean it's definitely it definitely works in the sense of what they're going for i just don't like what they're going for it's a it's a fad right now and I have a feeling it's gonna really fade out eventually. Now, the Stormy and the Sand aren't bad at all, actually. Like, the way that they fit the, this 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 guy here, it, it's really, really nice. Is it all patched together? Oh, it is. Oh, that must be so uncomfortable to wear. Oh my God, that would be absolutely uncomfortable to wear. Okay, but it doesn't matter. I mean, in general, I guess with this shirt, I mean, if you look like this guy, it may work with you, but I don't look like that guy. I mean, the, the logo here, actually, I like a little bit better. I like with the TF in it. That's kind of cute. Um, I like that. But this these shirt designs are awful. Uh, the colors, I, I now I do like that they went with a color theme for the first time in any of these pieces. It actually works uh, here with the color. Um, the sand, like these are great tone colors um, all around. Um, you know, they have their tertiaries, primaries, and it really kind of works in the sense of color. Like, honestly, it does. But in the sense of design, try again, guys. Try again. And it's $60, too. No way. I know they're trying to be unique, uh, but this is awful um, in, in that sense. These two are good. These two are bad. This, I'll give this one a, I'll give this one a four. And I'm giving it a four because I, the colors work really well. And I think they did really well with their color design in this one. But the fact that half your pieces here are trash and the other half are barely passable. Like, I mean, it's ugh. patchwork basketball jerseys. Oh man, they have more of this. Did this sell really well or something? It must have. It must have sold really well in order for them to do this. Okay, it just looks like, uh, okay, they have the Teddy Fresh in red here and, you know, embroidered with an O2, kind of like a basketball jersey, I assume. Uh, they have this, you know, Teddy Fresh logo, uh, the patch down here, always a fan of patches, you know, I think it works. This kind of looks like an old school patch, like something you find on like Levi's jeans or something, like an old pair of Levi's. This one's not bad. I actually like this. I actually like this. This is cool. This is cool. Eh. Eh, nah, I'm not a fan of red and orange together. Uh, if if you think that's all red, look again. That that's some of that is orange. Um, that's why I don't like it. Uh, okay, let's see how it fits a model. I need to be a little bit better better about that. Oh man, was this sold at uh, at Zoomies? Oh please tell me this wasn't sold at Zoomies. This is this is. Oh man, okay. I want to see if the good one fits. If the good one fits well. Okay, all right, all right. What you would ever wear this for, I don't know. I don't see a reason to ever wear this shirt or for, you know, I mean, I guess if you're gonna go play basketball with your friends, you're really gonna wear Teddy Fresh. You go play basketball with your friends, you'd be made fun of the whole time, at least in my friend group. Okay, this works with jeans, I guess. I don't know, but, oh man. And it makes it worse that there's a pair of shorts that goes with it. <laughs> it makes it so much worse. And it's $70, oh my God. That is a jersey for $70. Now, normally you can go buy a, you know, sports jersey or a soccer jersey, like, or, or anything. You can buy a, you know, a football jersey for about 70 bucks. But why would you buy a Teddy Fresh jersey? Like, oh my God. Oh, market, market, market. Like, it, like, I just don't think this is a part of their market. I don't think so. But then again, maybe I don't know. I don't know their market. I don't do research. So this is just, oh, I hate the sides and the collar. See, with this, it works. With this, it works. Not bad. But this, ugh. Okay, this, oh, man. All right, uh, two. Absolutely a two. I'm, I'm in shock that this is supposedly high fashion uh, streetwear. Uh, I'm not gonna rate the shorts. They get the same too. Awful, just awful. Okay, so let's move on. It seems like we're out of the patchwork. Thank God. Let's dip on into the hearts on my sleeve. Okay. Um, colors. Um, I'm noticing they are not very good with color. 
uh, at all. They don't understand complementing colors or anything like that. Now, I get that it's supposed to be like a rainbow and, and all that kind of stuff, but this is just, this doesn't look good. This one actually has some design to it, which I can critique and analyze. So within the, the idea here where they do the hearts, okay, I like that they, that, you know, they went with their theme. Here's their back. Oh, it's on the back too. Okay, just checking. I like that they went with their theme here. It works, you know, with the hearts going down the sleeves. Uh, but let's, I, there's one thing I need to check. If anybody who designs clothes ever listens to this, this is very important, okay? Look at the difference in spacing here at the top of the T to the bottom of the T. Look at this, like that hurts to look at because what that means is that they didn't really take the time to make sure that it all fits. What I would have done, because with the E, I think it fits, see? Like it, it's about the same distance. But what they should have done is brought it all smaller Made, ted, made the teddy smaller and then more centered. The problem here is that you can definitely tell right away about the distance. And it looks like it looks like an amateur project from my graphic design classes. Like this is what this looks like, like very amateur. The fresh is like reflected. Okay, I, I get what the idea is there. There's there's a little bit of uh, difference and, and look to it. Yellow just doesn't work with me, especially when it's that bright. The blue again. Okay, so it's just a repeat. I don't think hearts are a good cutout design. I've never thought that, but I think here you can argue that it works. Wait a minute. Okay, so I found another problem. So the fresh, okay? I mean, if you can't read it, it's upside down and kind of like backwards and mirrored. So fresh. The distance between the top of the heart and here is not the same either as it was here. Is that a design? Like, wait a minute. That's ugh. I know I'm being overcritical of a tea, of a of a sweatshirt, but that's that's insane. Like that's just a such an oversight. This means that whoever designed this, sorry Hila, was lazy and did not pay attention to symmetry in this case. Um, and it pisses me off because it looks so bad. I was wondering why this looked way better than this. Let's see if they actually have a picture of the sleeves. Not that I really care to look at them, but uh, yeah, just hearts down the sleeve. Is this just a long sleeve? Oh, it's just a long sleeve. It's not even a sweatshirt. Okay, let's look over here at teal. Okay, okay. I see you on this one. I actually, I like this one. The color theme is so appealing to the eye. Like the black, the pink, the blue, the purple, really boom. I wouldn't have used this aqua on the sleeve, but that's a, that's a matter. This is, this actually is appealing to my eye. I like the color theme here and I like that it's kind of grungy. So let's see, does the pink, yeah, the pink's kind of grungy, like that's cool. Okay, all right, I can see this one. Would I ever wear it? Absolutely not, doesn't matter. Like I'm gonna give props where props are due. Like the color theme here works really well. Still the same problem, the whole design is terrible. And then this one's more of a monotone sort of look. Okay, okay, I don't hate this, I don't hate this. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I don't like that they kind of faded, but oh, but overall this not, okay, the last two, I'm starting to notice a theme here. The first one is like the most gaudy and most, you know, over the top piece just to get your attention. And then I feel like the other two are the actual pieces that you would want to buy. Yeah, but overall, and it's $42. Okay, long sleeve, $42. If it's the highest quality, I'm not gonna say anything bad about that. Like that's just is what it is, you know? You can't you can't be that upset. This alone, this piece here would get a one. This is absolutely awful design. Taking into account that it looks like they actually attempted to do something with color here, you know? Um, I would I would okay, I'll give it, I'll give it a three. I actually really like the color design here, but I can't give it more than that based on price and based on the fact that all the design is so messed up. All right, there's another three for you. Let's uh, let's go back and see what's next. Okay, so this is the Teddy Fresh Bubble Bubble Graffiti Crew Neck. Let's start with the price, $75. Very high for a sweatshirt without a hood. Very, very high. That's that's almost outlandish. Now the design of this, the bubble graffiti. I I've never been a fan of bubble graffiti, but uh, I think with this brand it really works. It was so unnecessary to reflect this. You didn't. I mean, it was fine the way it was, but just one. They probably hired an artist to do this. I don't think that anybody on their team did this. I think they hired like a graffiti artist to make this, but that's okay. It looks good overall. It's not a bad design. Like the graffiti, the graffiti look is really good. I think their color choices, they're more, they're more of a uh, subtle color choice here. I don't feel it's as bright in my face, and I think therefore it works a little bit better, especially on the black. Let's see how this is. Okay, they switch up the colors for the aqua. And these colors work really well with the aqua color. I think that's fine. It's called Chalky Mint. Ooh. 
just sounds gross. Okay, yeah, I think these colors work really well with this. Uh, let's check the pink. Is that salmon? Yeah, it's like a salmon color. They call it watermelon. That's like a salmon color though. It can work really well. I think the design of the bubble graffiti is actually really good. I do, but I don't like it on this clothing. I just don't. I like the design. I like the color look and you know, it looks decent quality. I mean, as far as you know, what you're paying for. Um, I do I do a six on this piece. It's not awful. I mean, the design itself was is, you know, pretty, pretty high quality stuff. Easy to make, but still well done, you know? Like, I'm still gonna give credit there, but okay. Yeah, it's a six. Okay, this is just more of the same. I'm not gonna review it. It just looks more of the same. Uh, so that gets a six as well. We This is already gonna be long enough. So let's let's make sure that we get through this. A shirt with a pocket on it. It's really comfortable. I feel, I feel like uh, their jokes are just flat. They're falling flat on me. Okay, there's really no design here. Ooh, but it's my favorite little bear. Okay, so I like that. All right, I like that a lot. I like that they went with that. I would actually even wear this one. Yeah, these aren't bad, bad at all. Simple, done, probably high quality, $35, very reasonable price for a high quality t-shirt. And it's ring spun cotton at 6.1 ounces. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. It looks comfortable, even from just looking at it. This is actually the best piece I've seen so far. This gets a seven, this is good. This is a good piece because there's not too much design going on. That should, <laughs> that should tell you something. Let's move on to the, oh God, I'm already looking at it. Hi mom, bye mom, reversible sweatshirt. Looks like it was written by a kid. Bye mom. Is it, wait, it's reversible? Teddy Fresh by Gila Klein. Oh wait, so you reverse it and it looks like that. It's like a mom sweatshirt almost. Okay, I got the theme. The theme is a mom sweatshirt here. 70. Oh my God. I'm on by, I want to see the reverse because the reverse, hey, that was really a dumb decision. Why would you do that? To make the color the so similar to what we're looking at in a bright way. 51 cotton, 49 polyester. Okay. That's not a very good blend, but it's, it says brushed back fleece. So I'm assuming it's, it's got a decent blend to it, a decent feel. Yeah, this is the, there's a lot to say here. Uh, let's go back to the other one so I can actually read it. Gila, I would not have put your name on this. I, I think maybe it works for maybe like, you know, like somebody who wants to, I guess, cosplay as a mom. I get the, that design feel to it. And I think, I think you're hitting that target audience very well. This shirt design is not a design. This is just somebody, you know, taking hi mom, by mom, putting it on a shirt, putting your name on the side and then doing a patchwork in the middle and then being like, well, why don't we just do it reversible? I think it works. I think maybe you, you, you have an audience in that sense, but this is, this is very poorly from a graphic standpoint designed, but from a clothing designer standpoint, this is not good, not good at all. Reversed, I actually like it. Like this I would wear, maybe not with the bear because I don't like the, the logo, but I, I think reverse, this is cool looking. I want to see it on someone. Oh, why did you do a different color on the ribs? Why did you do that? Like the cuffs and the ribs and the, and the waist rib. Why would you do a different color? Is it because you want to look lame? I feel like that's the idea here is that they want people to look lame. Like the pink looks good on this girl. They want people to look dumb. I feel like, I feel like that's the whole goal here. We want you to look stupid because looking stupid is normal and everybody's stupid, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get it, but it, it it's, it's terrible. It's just, it's awful, awful. Oh my God. Okay. I'm on buy mom t-shirt. This isn't bad though. I don't mind this. Still looks like this, but that's fine. Like that can work. I think I didn't like the other one because it was too many colors, too much going on, trying to do too much. You are trying to be too much at once. This is good. I actually like this. Do I like the hi mom, by mom message idea? No, I think it's stupid. But I think this has something to do with, and, and this is where you can put your name. I like that you put your name there. That's really cool. That's really cool, Gila. I like that, I like that design idea. I actually like this. If it didn't say hi mom and it didn't say bye mom, if it said anything else, even if it just said Teddy or fresh or something, you know, even if it said that, I'd wear this. I'd wear this. The shirt looks great. Look at it. It looks like a good shirt. It looks like a good t-shirt. looks like a solid, normal t-shirt. You know, I would, I'm hoping for something out of the box. I'm hoping for something new, but normal as a t-shirt in with in, within Teddy Fresh, that, that'll level you. That'll level you as like a six. This isn't bad. The only reason I'm only giving it a six is because I hate the message of hi mom, bye mom, 
stupidness of it. But I still think that this isn't bad. This is a solid piece, man. Like, good way to go. Like, this is where your color contrasts come in. I like that it's two tone. You're not overdoing it. You're not trying to throw a bunch of shit in there. Like, it looks good. It looks good. The bear scratch oversized t shirt. Oh, man, oversized. Okay, so we've already kind of reviewed what this is. This is kind of that college look. I think that's embroidered on there as well. Nice. It, it's typical design, typical college you know, look design idea. I never have liked it. You know, I, I've done some rebranding for some Twitch streamers who have similar font like this. And I just tell them like that has to go right away. Like you are, this is not MLG, you know, gaming. Like where, where this is, this is not okay. I like the bear scratch idea, you know, that it's a little more ferocious, a little more angry, the Teddy Fresh, you know, instead of the cute little teddy bear. I get it, that's cool, a little edgy there. Color choice on the shirt, it's awful. This one, I think it's a little better. And on this one, it's the worst. Um, I don't like your choice on color there, but that's, you know, again, all is my opinion, but uh, but I think they're, they're, and art is subjective. I'm not trying to say that if you do, it, that this is fact, but pointing out some major flaws within the color and within a little bit of the design. Yeah, it's a boxy oversized fit. I wanna see how it fits. Look at, they zoomed in. Oh, okay, so it's like a streetwear kind of fit where it comes down to, to here. Yeah, I, I've made shirts like that. I still make shirts like that. Like, that's that's good. Okay, the, the fit on it's fine. I was confused what oversized meant in, in this sense. I didn't know. Okay, bear scratched oversized T5. Not awful, but it could be a lot better. Okay, we have a lot more to go through. Uh, so why don't we why don't we look here? We're gonna, we're, I'm gonna do a speed round. This is the speed round. This is Need a Hug. It's got a picture of a bear. The design itself, if you made that Gila, if you made that design, props to you. It's actually very, it's actually very cute. It doesn't belong on a shirt. No, Teddy Fresh on the blocks. That's kind of cute. Okay, I get it. Uh, wow, no, you should have stuck with this. Terrible, terrible. This is, this is for children. This is a child's shirt. Like, like I, I understand maybe that's what you're going for, but it's awful. Like, I, I don't know. I'm. Don't think I would ever wear it. $39, not bad. It's puffy, so I'm assuming it's got the, you know, it's like the nice soft puffy like we were showing before. That gets a four. This is another striped shirt. Why would you do another one? I mean, this is better. It's pinstripe, you know? Yeah, that's okay. All right. This one ain't, this one ain't bad. Charcoal. Charcoal's not bad. Eh, uh, four. So we've arrived at the piece that has actually, that, that brought me to do a review of this was this piece that I saw Ethan wearing, I think, in, in a video at some point or something like that, or maybe on an Instagram picture, I don't know. This piece here is what everybody kind of knows Teddy Fresh for, is this, is this weird colored sweatshirt. And I'm sure they have sold lots of them, okay? And I'm, I'm not trying to take away from that. I think, oh, oh they have a gray one, okay. That, I actually like the gray one. And I'm not saying that any of this is a reflection of the rest of the designs here. This piece, this one piece here, with the yellow hood, the yellow cuffs, the purple, you know, you got that blue, and then the Teddy Fresh patch points there, and the pink, and the pink here, okay? This is hands down one of the absolute worst pieces of clothing I've ever seen in my entire life. I've seen a lot of bad things come out of even high fashion. This is hands down one of the worst pieces of clothing I have ever seen. This is awful in all aspects. Maybe quality of it's good. It only says 100% cotton though. If this is 100% cotton, this this could be like Gildan. Gildan is 100% cotton. If you don't know, Gildan is a is a supplier of clothing, and it's they're they're it's usually like the low tier stuff, kind of like band shirts is what you buy from from them. This is one of the most atrocious looking things. Just look at the color mesh. This is an idea of somebody who was like, okay, I want to do something completely different and make something like kids color blocks. And oh, cute, okay, let's see how it works. You put it together, you put red on the chest, and you just make this look so terrible in every way. I just, I, I absolutely despise this piece. And when I saw Ethan wearing it, I just was like, that is one of the worst pieces of clothing I've ever seen. So this was one thing that brought me to do this in the first place. I want to look at, uh, oh look, they don't even have a model wearing it. They couldn't get a model to wear it. <laughs> patch itself is is interesting. Trying to be more understanding of that of the patches and the, and the logos and stuff and the design because uh, this isn't made for me. I know that. These other ones are actually not as bad. Like the gray one, 
totally acceptable because it has nothing to do with the fact that the that the sleeves are different colors or you know the cuffs and the hood are a different color it has nothing to do with that um wow oh god that one's bad too uh and this one's okay i guess but the pink is is all right i guess too but the pastel like i i i can i can analyze it more but just by saying look at the color mesh when you look along the rib here do those colors really feel like they belong together do they really feel good to your eye or are you just wearing it to be different like that's kind of the point are you wearing something because it looks nice or are you wearing something because it's different and i think that's that's a big you know thing that's happening within the within the skate community and, and a lot of stuff like that is we want to wear something that's different we want to be cool we want to do something that's totally outside the box and you know being old is cooler now and doing all this kind of stuff i get that and that's and that's really you know up to you it's up to the to the person whoever wants to wear that um but i think from a purely clothing design color you know a color expert design choice this belongs in a dumpster this is just, this is something you buy at, uh, I don't know, a thrift store that a grandma wore for five years. And if that's the theme they're going for, you nailed it. Um, but it, but this deserves to be burned or thrown in a trash can. This is one of the worst pieces of crap I've ever seen in my life. $85, it's $85 for one of the worst pieces of clothing I've ever seen. I've ever seen. What design went into this? Did you literally just find a bunch of colors of blocks for, for a baby and just went, let's just do that? Oh man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be so mean, but this is this is just this is what brought me here was this piece of crap shirt. Like, oh man. Alright, let's go back. Alright, we're done with that. That zero. Like, <laughs> I'm not even gonna give it a rating. It's so bad it's not even on the scale. And look, we found its brother. The bubblegum block hoodie. Okay, I don't mind this little thing here in the middle. That's cool. That's cool. All right, this gets a one. This is just as bad, um, I think. But the 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 thing here in the middle, it works. It works. All right, it works. I like it. Okay, let's look at the three panel hoodie. Okay, this is actually interesting. I'm actually interested in this a little bit. Uh, the blue and pink. I'm not sure it works. Let me find a better color that I like. Let's go here. I like these more mute tones. Uh, this is okay. Look at that. Look at it's cute. It's embroidered. It's subtle. I love subtlety. Not a bad shirt, honestly. Not terrible. Um, I like that it it you know it's different. It's a different stitch here. It's uh, I think this one itself really works. But the first one here, throw that in the dumpster with the other one. This one this will get a two. There's not much else for me to rate on it. Like what? You want me to rate the Teddy Fresh here in the middle? Like like cool, good. You did another Teddy Fresh. Good for you. Try some better design next time. Split zip up hoodie. Wait, what? Somebody let this off the assembly line? Hold on a minute. This looks like somebody screwed up. Okay, this one's not bad. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I know that they're going for this high contrast color, but that's just not good design. That's just not good design at all. That's just there's just no other way around it. This is this isn't, you know, fresh or spunky or anything like that. This is just this is just bad design. Black and tan works though. I want to see this on someone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'd wear that. I honestly the, of everything that I've reviewed so far, I would wear this. This is cool. This is a cool piece. I like it. I honestly like it a lot. It's interesting. It's just different. I like the split tone like that. That's really cool. If you did more colors of these, I guarantee you they like like people would like this a lot more. The pink and blue is just this is absolutely awful. This is god awful. It's so funny because there's no model for it either. But there's a model for this one. I like this honestly. I really do. I think the black and tan is really really well done. I love the minimal color. I feel like this is a criticism of the whole place. If you really took the time to just do two tone three tone four tone pieces and not go into this abstractness of whatever the hell this is you would do really well i think these are, i mean they are doing really well financially but i think they would do really well as a design like like this really gets me i love this i really like this i would give this one a seven honestly the reason i'm giving it a seven is because i'm ignoring this i'm going straight to this i like this a lot I really do. 80%, 20%, draw cord. $79 is really stupid expensive, but I think I like this enough to, to buy it. Like that's really, really well done on that one, on the black and tan. This one's terrible. I wouldn't even rate that one. Don't ever talk to me or my son again, hoodie. The hoodie looks cheap. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Okay. If you made that, Gila, bravo. Bravo. 
Bravo. Like that's, oh, that's so cute. I love it. If you didn't make it and you hired someone, bravo to that designer. Because this is really cute. Pity Fresh since two years ago. That's such a lame tagline. I don't understand the joke either. Maybe that's the, my problem. But that's such a lame tagline. I actually really like that. It's so adorable. And the patch on the eye. Oh, and the TF on his little thing here in the heart. Don't ever talk. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. I like this a lot. Oh, it's even better on cream. The pink's nice too. All of this is really good. All of this is really good. This is the best piece I've seen. This is the best piece I've seen. The thing is with this one is, yeah, it's cutesy, but it's cutesy in a way that's not overbearing. Like, I feel like this is overbearing, <laughs> but it's not overbearing. Like this, I feel like is nice. I can wear it. Like, I'm, I smile looking at this. It's cute. It's cute and it works with, with their theme, but it also works with my idea of what a good artist is. Like, this is a really good artistic rendition. I think the cream is my favorite. I, I don't think I would ever wear anything Teddy Fresh just just because the, you know, the, I just wouldn't, I just don't think it's, it's my style, but this I would actually consider, this gets an eight. I really like this. It's so cute and it's such a good piece. I wanna see, do you have anybody wearing it? No, you don't. But this is really good. This gets an eight. This is the best piece you guys have so far. I love it. I love it so much. $79 is expensive, way expensive, but this is cute. I really do like it. Okay, way to go, way to go, Hila. Hila, sorry. I love that. Okay, and this is basically more of the same. Oh God, no, get rid of that pink. This gets a seven because of that pink. Ugh. Uh, acid trip pullover. Graphic on chest, sleeves and back. I feel like, ugh, I feel like that's unnecessary. What in the, the front's cool. I like the kind of, whoosh, you know, the little wavy acid trip look to it with the gradient, which gradient is a bad choice on those. But I mean, uh, with the cream on the back, it looks really well. I think that works. Um, the back is really cool. I'm glad that you just did a repeat. There is no need to do anything different. What in the hell is going on with the sleeves? If you guys will, will remember, um, I actually, you know, love sleeve print. I think it really adds something cool to the piece when you feel, you know, a little bit on your sleeves like that. I, mean, I don't know, maybe it's a thing where it makes you feel like you have more tattoos than you really do. <laughs> That's how I feel with it. But what in the hell is this? Is it just TF and, a, and, and on a grid with the same gradient? Is, oh, I, I can't even look like I can't see it. It's not it's really not well described here. It looks like Twitter logos. It looks like Twitter logos and Tumblr logos. It looks like you have a bunch of sponsors. That's what it looks like. It looks like a sponsor hoodie. Um, the, the cream's the best. The sleeve prints get no points here because they actually make them lose points because they're so bad. But I overall, I think if you did a different thing on the sleeves, it would be much better. I think your back is really cool and the front is really cool. It's the same piece, but it's, they both synergize really well. And I think if you did something different on the sleeves, this would have been much better, but this is a five. I think I would have given this a seven because it's re I really like the front and the back. I like that edgy sort of almost like metal sort of acid trip look. Like it's really cool, but your sleeves just ruin the whole thing. Okay, this just looks like more of the same. Okay, this gets a seven because there's no sleeves. <laughs> this gets a seven because there's no sleeves. Oh, they ruined it. Gave it a seven and they ruined it. They absolutely ruined it. What, what is this? And it's not even evenly done. Why? I guess it frames the piece and it doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look like it did on the sleeves. Oh, five. Gradients are cool, most of it's cool, but I can't believe they'd ruin it like that. It looks like a sponsor hoodie or a sponsor shirt. Like it just doesn't look good. Moving on, the TF hoodie. Okay, um, I really wish they wouldn't have done the fresh here like this in that color, but I understand it's their logo. I can see it here. It's okay, it looks it looks fine. I like that that's, that that's embroidered, good points. These look like straws. It, it's a decent piece. I like the sleeve print. I think, I think in this case that like rainbow kid look kind of works. Oh, the cream, yeah, the cream it works. I just wish these weren't pink. I'll give, I'll give this one a six. I just wish these weren't pink. There's not much else to say about it. It's not really, there's not a lot of design to it. It's just kind of, hey, here's our, here's our cool other TF alternative logo and uh, Teddy Fresh on the sleeves. Average piece. Ooh, wait, they have a tie-dye? Oh, oh, oh no, we're out of here. Nope, tie dye's bad. Nope, I don't wanna give it anything less. We're just gonna leave it at that. Uh, this looks about the same. Um, it looks like it's just on the patch here, so same rating there. Uh, would I give that a six? Yeah, I'll give it a six. Fat striped t-shirt, okay. They really like their stripes. Wow, uh, color choice is awful. And I guess the bear works, okay. All right, 
I mean, it, it, it works for what it is, okay? It works for what it is. I'll give, I'll give that a five. I'll give that a five because it's my favorite of the stripes. <laughs> Rainbow stripe shirt, four. This is awful. For $40, this is terrible. I, I, I really just don't like it. I know it fits their brand, okay? I'm not trying to, to hate, but I don't like their brand. Like, I think that might be more of what it is. I don't like their brand at all. Let's go to the Teddy all over three. I hate that logo so much and they just repeated it everywhere. And it's $39. So there you go. It's an all over print. Bare patch long sleeve polo. This is another example of a piece that belongs in a dumpster. This one's even worse. Why does it, everything from the 90s have to come back and look awful? No, no. One. You get a one. Looks like they've kind of improved their design as they went because a lot of this kind of stuff faded out. I think we're nearing the bottom. So this is, I, I didn't think anything could be worse than that other piece that we saw. I hate patchwork design and I hate the design that she did with the colors before. This is a combination of both of those. I don't want to hate on this one too much because I, I understand it, I guess. Like this, I actually like this. This looks like Tetris to me. I like this. This one's interesting. Would I ever wear them? Either of them? No. $85 is ridiculous. No, no, no. This gets a two. Get out of here with that. Like that's, th these are just bad designs. I feel like they found somebody who was like, hey, I can do patchwork design for you. And they're just like, throw all their money at them. Like, hey, do patchwork because people will think it's cool and different and be, and be different. Like people probably own this stuff, but I don't think anybody wears it out. I've never seen a single person in this stuff. Shorts, same. You get it too. Get out of here. This is the most normal piece they have. <laughs> I like it. It's probably really comfortable too. And they're sold out, so I can't even see the price. Um, look at that. I actually like this. I, these, these look comfy. They look really, really comfy. And they work. They work everywhere. I, and your colors work here too. This is an example of your colors working. This is awesome. This is a good piece. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I love it. I love it. It's simple. It's done. You have it. Okay. I can't rate this because it's for a dog, but uh, that's adorable. It really is. Even though it's the ugliest piece they have, it's adorable. Okay. Tonal embroidery, heavy cotton t-shirt. I like the tone that they went with here. This is cool. This is cool. Do I like the logo and the design of it? Absolutely not. I still think that it looks too childish um, and it, it looks, it looks whatever, but I love the, the same color embroidery because what that does is it, is it really makes it you know, different. It makes it, it makes it subtle. I love the subtlety of it. That's really, really well done. They said heavy cotton shirt, which makes me think that this is Gildan or some subsidiary of them. And they're just putting their patch on it because it, it, if it's heavy cotton, normally that's Gildan. And at $40, that is ridiculous. And then embroidery Teddy Fresh t-shirt. Okay, this is what I think started their line, you know, was this idea. All right, it's the same thing as we just saw. It's cute, all right. At $35, this is not bad. If you want to support them, then there you go. Uh, like like that works. And I think we've seen almost everything. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Uh, we didn't see the SpongeBob stuff. They have a bucket hat. I'm not even going to rate that. Like, oh my God. They have socks. Interesting. What in the hell? What in God's name? Oh my God. Okay. I got to give props to Ethan and Hila here. Like, like you guys obviously don't take yourselves very seriously. And I like that about you. I think that's very interesting of you. Oh, look, it comes in a case. What the hell? Okay. I like that you guys don't take yourself seriously. Okay. Like that's, 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 uh, if you do, and you think this is a serious design, oh, you need a, you need a wake up call. Um, okay. The bin, the bandana's cute. Uh, the sandals are just awful. I got like, I, I can't, I can't, I'm trying to be objective, but like I get the joke. They're terrible. So wear them. Yeah. I think that's it. Oh, more bucket hats and a call and a belt. Okay. All right. Um, so Oh, wait, we missed the SpongeBob. Where's the SpongeBob? Apparel? Where's the, where's the SpongeBob shirt? What'd you do to SpongeBob? Ba rating this based on what I can see here, you get a two. You took SpongeBob and you ruined him. <laughs> Let me give my overall thoughts here, all right? So Ethan and Hila obviously are going for a kid style design. I get it, okay. And this is a rating from a you know 27 year old. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different than I think if you are young and into their stuff or like a huge fan of of Ethan and Hila. Like absolutely, they they have a great podcast. They you know they've they've uh, made great YouTube videos in the past. Uh, they don't really make any anymore, but that's okay. I think if you want to support them, this is cool. I think it's a cool way to show that you support them by supporting Hila's designs. This is one of the worst stores I've ever seen in my entire life. I think that the the color work here is so bad. 
I think that they're trying too hard to be different and trying too hard to lean into this, oh, we're different and, you know, not not even edgy, but we're different in a, in a cool kid, like, you know, like a sort of way, like a, not even a cool kid, like sort of a, sort of a lame kind of way, honestly, they're leaning into that a little bit. And you know what, if it, if that works for you and that's your style, then, you know, then absolutely buy whatever you want here. They're unbelievably overpriced. I think that everything, almost everything in this store does not deserve to be the price that it is based on my knowledge of sourcing. That That is ridiculous. They were, they are a very successful brand. So this is where uh, probably a lot of comments are going to be like, well, they're successful. Like, you know, well, okay. A lot of bad things are successful. Okay. A lot of uh, things that don't have a lot of talent are successful. Um, there's a lot of stuff that is successful based on the absurdity of it. Um, and I think Teddy Fresh in, in its idea is popular and very successful. I mean, they were sold in Zoomies. They're, they're very successful based on the absurdity of the pieces. And I think people are starting to kind of like this style and that's okay. I think, I think if fashion goes this way, then it goes this way. However, I wouldn't wear a single piece in here. I think uh, after reviewing everything that I looked at, I really wouldn't wear a piece in here. Nothing is very well designed. I mean, they're, and when they do it, the thing is when they do have a good design, it's put on terrible colors. It's put on terrible colors. I mean, it, it's, it's such a mess. Everything feels like a mess in this store. And I don't, I'm, I'm very, I like symmetry. I like things when the, when they're appealing to the eye, nothing that I've seen in here other than maybe one or two pieces was appealing to me. Kila is probably a very good, you know, thinker and maybe, maybe even a decent designer. Maybe she's good with, uh, with design and different things, but I just think I, I can't help but feel everything in here could have been better. That's again, no, no shade thrown at either of them at Ethan or Gila. This is just a, my review of their clothing. I, I'm, I wish you all the success. I'm very happy that you guys are so successful with it. And you know, I hope you stay successful with this, but understand that from a designer's point of view, this is the, like, this is, it's appalling how bad it is. Um, it just, it just hurts to look at, man. It really does. Um, all right. That's it for my review. Uh, this has gone on a very long time. I hope you guys are okay with that. Uh, if uh, we may, we may have to cut out a few pieces um, at the end of this. But uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this a little bit. Um, if you guys want to me to review some, a YouTuber that you know of or somebody that you're thinking of, um, please leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, if you guys want to contradict anything I said in this and tell me why you think that Teddy Fresh is one of the best design clothes or maybe just average, like, let me know. I'm interested in hearing other designers' opinions and other people's opinions on this. Um, I'm trying to broaden my spectrum a little bit and I was really trying to think outside the box here and understand what they're going for. In my brain, for me, as, as a singular person, it doesn't work. It just, nothing works. I will do another review probably very soon. Um, I have somebody in mind. I have someone in mind, but uh, I, I want to wait. I want to wait. I want to hear what you guys, who you guys want to hear. So uh, go ahead, uh, leave a like if you liked it. And then, yeah, comment. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you.